December 2008, legendary investor Whitney Tilson explained to 60 Minutes anchor Scott Pelley that there would be a second wave of the U.S. mortgage crisis. But nevertheless, the stock market would soar. Soon after, stocks started the biggest bull market run in U.S. history. Then, in March 2015, Tilson appeared again on 60 Minutes, this time with Anderson Cooper, blowing the whistle on one of America's largest home improvement companies, Lumber Liquidators. Soon after, the company's stock price fell nearly 80%. And that brings us to today. Whitney Tilson, one of the most famous former hedge fund managers in America, who's appeared many times on national television to explain major financial news stories, is stepping forward again. This time, he's not waiting to go on TV. Instead, he's revealing the full story here first. Tilson has met with three US presidents, attended Warren Buffett's last 21 Berkshire Hathaway meetings in Omaha, and spoken at the country's most prestigious business schools such as Harvard, Columbia, and Wharton. And today, he's going public with details on what he calls the biggest economic and financial story in America that almost no one is talking about. Tilson says the recent convergence of two incredible new technologies could soon dramatically change the value of homes and real estate all over the country, put as much as $6,000 a year back into most U.S. families' bank accounts, force the radical overhaul of the tax code in almost every city and small town in America, transform the energy business, the insurance industry, and parts of the healthcare industry, all while saving millions of lives and making early investors a potential fortune. Why should you pay attention to Whitney Tilson's latest big prediction? For one simple reason. He has an incredible track record when it comes to pinpointing the most profitable stock market moves. Consider, he called the exact day of the Bitcoin peak in 2017 and the exact hour marijuana stocks would start their big collapse. And in 2020, just after the stock market bottomed during the coronavirus crisis, Tilson said, this is the absolute best time to be an investor in more than a decade. He was exactly right. Stocks have skyrocketed since that date. There might not be another financial analyst in the world who can make these claims. Tilson has also accurately predicted the decline of 88 different stocks, including three bankruptcies over his career. His insights even contributed to the ousting of the CEO at America's most famous rental car company, which filed for bankruptcy last year. And along the way, Tilson also purchased in his hedge funds many of the most valuable stocks in recent history, long before they became household names, including Netflix, when it was only $7.78 a share. Today, it's worth 7,800% more. Apple, at 35 cents a share, it's up more than 43,600% since then. Amazon, at $48 a share, it's up almost 4,500% since then. This is why CNBC once nicknamed Whitney Tilson the Prophet, and why it's critical for you to take a few minutes to hear about the huge new trend Tilson has identified. Today, the convergence of two new technologies have hit a tipping point. And as a result, a new technological development has started to roll out in California, Arizona, Massachusetts, Pennsylvania, Texas, Florida, and Washington, DC. And this has started to send parts of the investment world into a frenzy. Recently, Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos, also the second richest man in the world, spent $1.2 billion to acquire key components of these technologies and unveiled the company's prototype in October of 2020. In August of 2021, he made another big investment in this space because he knows this breakthrough will transform not only his business, but probably your life. Stock market investors have finally started to catch on too. In one recent six month stretch, for example, a collection of 20 of the best performing companies in this space soared an average of 570%, with some soaring 1000% and more. Take a look at some of these extraordinary gains in this six month period. But here's the thing, it's not just the investment gains that are so remarkable. As you'll see, when there is widespread adoption of this technology across America, it's going to change well, just about everything, from the way you eat, shop, work, 
and travel to the value of your homes and where you live. It will radically alter the price you pay for everything from airline and train tickets to a tank of gas and even household goods. Unfortunately, however, says Tilson, there's a downside to this story too. The convergence of these two radical new technologies is also going to cause a lot of people to lose money. Dozens of well-known businesses are likely to go bankrupt, and some people are going to lose their jobs. But the truth is, Tilson believes the positive effects of this radical development far outweigh the negatives. And that's why he's going public with the full story today. Tilson believes this is not something that might happen. I believe it's inevitable, 100% guaranteed to take place. In fact, it's already underway in Phoenix and is in the introductory phases in places like Boston, San Francisco, and San Jose. The only question in my opinion is, when will it hit your hometown? Today, Whitney Tilson will explain everything you need to know, including the full details on his single favorite investment in this space. You'll learn the stock name, ticker symbol, and recommended buy up to price of an incredibly profitable company, which is head and shoulders above all others in this technology race. Again, you'll get the name and stock symbol of this investment totally free of charge right here in this presentation. No email, no credit card, and no subscription required. All you have to do is stay tuned. Hi, I'm Whitney Tilson, and today I want to tell you about what I believe is one of the biggest financial stories in America, which is still not getting nearly enough attention in the mainstream press. Despite the recovery after the coronavirus pandemic and all the news coverage you see on other hot technological breakthroughs, such as 5G internet and robotics, artificial intelligence and virtual reality, blockchain and quantum computers, most people are still missing out on this big investment story. As you'll see, we are at a seminal moment in American history. An enormous sea change is coming to our society, and an investing frenzy has begun in the sector of the market that represents this new breakthrough. An ETF that tracks the industry is up 200% since 2020's lows, and we are seeing gains in individual stocks as big as 100% in a single day, 500% or more in less than two months, and more than 1,500% in a six-month period. The thing is, I believe this investing frenzy is still just in its early stages, so it's critical for you to understand what's taking place right now. Over the past two years, my research team and I have spent hundreds of hours investigating this technology trend. We even visited with major producers and suppliers of the key components. And I'm now more convinced than ever that almost everyone is going to be stunned by how quickly this new technology development will advance and roll out across America. I've already reached out to CNBC to get this story on a major television network, but just as I've done in the past, I'm not gonna wait for them to make it public. So I'm sharing everything I've uncovered here first. Today, you can be among the first to hear about one of the biggest technological changes in America we've seen in many, many years. And I'll even reveal, totally free of charge, my favorite stock market investment to take advantage of the situation. You don't have to give me your email address, your credit card, or anything like that. Just stay tuned. In a few years, I believe this breakthrough will completely upend so much of what we take for granted. But today, despite the fact that it's actually being implemented in the real world, hardly anyone is taking it seriously. So let's get started. What most people don't understand about technology is that the really big disruptions, the ones that make people rich and change our lives, are almost never the result of a single invention. Instead, it's the convergence of several new technologies and often a new business model too. Take personal computers, or PCs for example. They were first introduced in 1977 when the Apple II, the Commodore PET, and Radio Shack's TRS-80 all made their debut. It was the advent of the hard drive by IBM, integrated circuits, integrated computer systems, and other important breakthroughs which made it all possible. PCs changed our world and created fortunes. Intuit software let people do their own taxes, and the company's share price soared more than 2,000%. Cisco built hardware and software, and its stock went up by more than 2,700%. And Western Digital perfected PC hard drives, shares went up more than 1,900% over the long term. The internet, which went live in 1991, was also a combination of multiple breakthroughs. 
The Department of Defense's ARPANET technology first linked four computers together in 1969, and the advent of breakthroughs such as packet switching, transmission control protocol, and hypertext markup language made the internet a reality. And again, it made many investors wealthy. Amazon is up more than 222,000% since the early days. eBay shares are up almost 12,000% since going public. And Priceline is up 33,000% over the long term. The same thing happened a few years later with smartphones. Steve Jobs first introduced the iPhone with a call to a nearby Starbucks in 2007. And it was all possible because of the convergence of technologies like high-speed modems, seamless roaming, GPS, digital imaging, which Sharp introduced in 2000, touch screens, which IBM first put in a phone in 1992, and many more. And yet again, while those who bet on the wrong companies lost big time, others got rich. Apple shares are up more than 3,300% since the iPhone debuted in 2007. Cell phone chipmaker Broadcom has seen its share price soar 3,800% in 15 years. And LAM Research, which makes semiconductor processing equipment, is up more than 3,000% in roughly the last decade. Today, I believe the same thing is happening again. A slew of new technologies are leading us to a new development, a transformation called TAS. In a decade or less, I predict it will be hard to imagine how we survived before this transformation took place. Just as today, it's hard to imagine how we functioned before smartphones. And I believe it's all going to happen much, much faster than almost anyone thinks. Let me show you what is rapidly unfolding and how people are already making a fortune on this trend. I want you to get in on it before the story goes mainstream. I'll also explain how it has the potential to make some people rich while bankrupting others, all while transforming our lives in ways that are almost unimaginable right now. Remember, I'm also going to give you, totally free of charge, my number one favorite way to invest in this technological breakthrough today. I'll reveal the stock name and the ticker symbol in just a few minutes. I did something very similar not too long ago. Back in 2012, I saw the convergence of the internet, faster data transmission, and a new business model, on-demand streaming TV and movie services, in a company I'm sure you're familiar with, Netflix. And just to be clear, I was extremely skeptical of this new model at first, but wanted to learn more. So I flew to California and had lunch with Reed Hastings, Netflix's founder and CEO. After learning everything I could, I became a huge believer. And when the stock got cheap enough, I loaded up on shares in my hedge funds and went on CNBC telling everyone that Netflix was a screaming buy. I got lucky with the timing. A year later, the stock was up sixfold, the beginning of a run that ended up being a 6,000% gain in only seven years after I made that call. I'm telling you this because I think the situation before us today is very similar. Two incredible technologies are just now hitting a tipping point and when you combine those breakthroughs with a new business model that's already proving to be incredibly powerful, it has the potential to completely transform our world over the next few years. Here's what you need to know. The technology I want to tell you about today is known in Silicon Valley and Manhattan as TAS. And if you've never heard of it, don't worry, you soon will. TAS stands for Transportation as a Service. And while it might not sound like a very high-tech name, it's possible only because of the convergence of dozens of new incredible technologies, including two big new breakthroughs in particular. I believe it's also 100% guaranteed to completely transform our daily lives. Just for starters, number one, it will dramatically change the value of homes and real estate all over the country. Two, it will eventually put an estimated $5,600 back into the hands of 93% of U.S. families every year. Three, it will dramatically change the value of your car. For most people, this is a big deal because cars are people's second biggest purchases after housing. Four, TAS will also likely result in the collapse of oil prices. Five, it will radically change the tax structure of almost every city and small town in America. That's because estimates show that Chicago, for example, will lose at least $250 million in revenue every year because of TAS. Los Angeles could lose more than $140 million. 
New York could lose a half billion dollars every single year. Six, TAS will also radically change the insurance industry and the healthcare industry, saving millions of lives. In fact, at the end of the day, TAS might be the biggest medical innovation in decades, even though it has nothing to do with new drugs or new medical devices. Seven, and it's already starting to make some people a lot of money. In one recent six-month stretch, for example, a group of 20 companies in this space soared an average of 570%, with some of these firms soaring an extraordinary 1,000% or more. But don't worry, I believe there are still extraordinary gains yet to come. The rollout of this technology is still in its infancy. It's only being partially implemented today in one U.S. city. And I'm willing to bet almost anything that you've never even heard of 99% of the companies in this space. As some of these companies become household names in the next few years, the gains could be extraordinary. So, I'm sure you're wondering, what is TAS exactly? And how is it going to radically alter life as we know it here in America and around the globe? Well, let me explain. One of the two critical technologies hitting a tipping point right now is the electric vehicle, or EV. Now, maybe you think EVs are not a new technology in the typical sense, and in a way you're right. But what's radically changed is how the key technology to making EVs work, batteries, have improved at an incredible rate in recent years. Battery storage cost about $1,000 per kilowatt hour back in 2010. Today it's as low as $100 per kilowatt hour, and soon it will be close to $56 per kilowatt hour. This is a huge deal, a more than 90% drop in the price of battery power, and it means electric cars can now go nearly 400 miles on a single charge, and soon will go up to 600 miles on one charge. And more importantly, it means the crossover point, when electric vehicles are actually cheaper to purchase than their gas-powered equivalent, is projected to start in 2022. It's crazy how all this is developing much faster than most people realize. In fact, every year Bloomberg keeps pushing up the date for the crossover point, when electric vehicles will be cheaper to buy than gas-powered ones. Back in 2017, they said it would happen in 2026. Then they revised the date to be 2024, then 2022. And late last year they said, the price of battery packs for electric vehicles is fast approaching a tipping point. EV makers will soon be producing models that are as affordable and as profitable as comparable combustion engine models and without the help of tax subsidies. Most people don't know this, but electric vehicle sales soared more than 40% in 2020, and when the full numbers are finally tallied for 2021, the annual increase might be even higher. Now look, I know many people do not believe electric vehicles will soon make gas-powered ones obsolete but I believe this is 100% certain for one simple reason, economics. The truth is, gas-powered vehicles no longer make economic sense. Tony Seba, a Stanford economist who's done more work in this field than anyone else I know of, has proven that electric vehicles are about to be 90% cheaper to operate than gas-powered cars. And from all the cases I've seen, whenever a new technology brings about a 90% price reduction, it wins every single time. Just look at the facts. Consumer Reports estimates it costs about $15,000 to fill up a Jeep Liberty over five years if you drive 12,000 miles per year. An electric Jeep Liberty would cost less than $1,600 to fuel over the same period of time, according to Seba. Think about that. It costs 10 times more money to operate a gas vehicle compared to an electric one. And fuel savings are just the beginning. Where you really see massive savings is with service and maintenance. The drivetrain in a conventional car has as many as 2,000 moving parts versus as few as 20 in an electric car. Electric cars and trucks have motors, not engines, so they don't need to shift gears. And they don't need oil, spark plugs, air filters, coolant, or transmission fluid. There's essentially zero maintenance besides brakes and tires. And get this, while a conventional car typically lasts 150,000 miles, or perhaps 200,000 miles if you really push it, Electric car engines can potentially last 500,000 miles, perhaps even a million miles or more. This is why some electric car makers warranty the drive unit for up to eight years and unlimited miles. No gas-powered car will ever come with a warranty like that. Think about it this way. If you have a choice to get essentially the same car, 
but one is cheaper to buy, costs 90% less to maintain and use on a daily basis, and lasts up to five times longer, which car will you purchase? In just a few years, no one in his right mind, except for a collector, is going to buy a gas-powered vehicle. What so many people are missing right now is that this shift to EVs isn't about the environment or going green. Again, it's all about economics. This is one of the big reasons why the Model 3 Tesla has been by far the best-selling small to mid-sized luxury car sold in America for the last two years. Look at this chart for 2021, which shows how the top electric cars beat the sales of the next 16 gas-powered models combined. If you don't believe electric cars will almost completely displace gas-powered vehicles, I respect your opinion, but I think you are dead wrong. If you watched the Super Bowl in recent years, you saw the huge shift that all major car companies are making. Almost every automaker is touting their shift to EVs. Audi advertised its newest electric vehicle, Porsche ran its first Super Bowl commercial in 23 years, touting its electric sports car, the Taycan. Even Hummer, a brand most people remember as a gas guzzler left for dead, advertised its new all-electric vehicle. And did you see the incredible recent news from General Motors? The company made a huge announcement on their website when they wrote, GM is on its way to an all-electric future with a commitment to 30 new global electric vehicles by 2025. We are aggressively going after every aspect of what it takes to put everyone in an EV. Ford is spending a billion dollars to modernize a plant for EV production. Toyota will generate half of its sales with EVs by 2025, five years earlier than previously estimated. The list goes on and on. BMW, Nissan, Fiat, Chrysler, Mercedes, Kia, Audi, Honda, and Volvo, they've all pledged moves toward electrification. This is the future of cars and trucks in America and all over the world. And remember, it's all about economics. The numbers behind this trend are incredible. And if you want to see the sources for all the data I've cited here, simply click on the details and disclosures link at the bottom of this page, which will take you to our original sources. Of course, I haven't even mentioned how in many ways, electric vehicles are more fun to drive than traditional gas-powered engines. Because they have no transmission, power goes straight to the wheels, which means electric cars can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour a lot faster than all but the most expensive gas-powered vehicles. Did you see the specs of the new electric Hummer, for example? It will tout a ridiculous 1,000 horsepower and 11,500 pound-feet of torque, more than twice the amount of a standard Ford F-150. Plus, it will go from 0 to 60 in 3 seconds. None of that is possible with a regular gas engine. This is why, globally, the accounting firm Deloitte says sales of EVs will soar more than 1140% by 2030. That's a compound rate of nearly 30% every single year. And yes, this is partly why Tesla's stock is up more than 900% since the start of 2020 and has become by far the most valuable car company in the world. It's why Tesla's CEO, Elon Musk, is now worth more than Amazon's Jeff Bezos. It's why the electric car maker, Neo is up 976% since 2020, and why EV service company, Plug Power, is up more than 900% during the same period. You know, there's a popular saying in Silicon Valley, which is, it goes slow until it goes fast. And with electric vehicles, there's a lot of truth to that. It's been slow going for years, but in just the last year and a half, it started to go really, really fast. This is a big, big trend you want to learn how to get in on right now. Here's my prediction. In five years, electric vehicles will account for more than half of all new cars and trucks sold in the United States. Electric vehicles are simply a superior technology with rapidly declining prices. And today, they are even being subsidized with government incentives, with even bigger incentives still likely to come. Plus, they're environmentally friendly to boot, and quiet, too. This is why, as CNN recently reported, established car makers around the world are ripping up their business models in the hope of adapting to a new world in which electricity replaces gasoline and diesel. Even companies that aren't typically in the car business are now producing electric cars. Leading electronics maker Sony, for instance, just unveiled a prototype of a beautiful electric car at the Consumer Electronics Show I attended and two new EV car companies in America, Lucid and Rivian, which is 20% owned by Amazon, have gone public. And get this, in China, there are 400 different companies working on electric cars, 
in large part because almost every Asian nation, including not only China, but also India, Japan, South Korea, and Taiwan, is planning to eventually ban the sales of new gas and diesel powered vehicles in the coming decades. It's all going to be electric here in America and everywhere around the world. In Norway, already more than 50% of the new cars sold are electric. Like I said, in 2020, sales of electric vehicles worldwide grew a whopping 41%. And I won't be surprised if the 2021 numbers are even higher when all the results are tabulated. We've clearly hit a tipping point, and this is how disruptive technologies get adopted. At first, it seems like a slow trickle, just the early adopters are in on it. But then the technology hits a tipping point and the masses pile in. And that's where we are right now. This trend is already making some people rich. Over roughly the past two years, the gains of the best performing stocks in the electric car space are simply extraordinary. NEO is up 2,516%. Plug Power is up 996%. Workhorse is up 90%. Electromechanica Vehicles is up 84%. Blink Charging is up 1,153%. Arkimoto is up 404%. Seaback Energy Technology is up 312%. Tesla is up 1,585%. ChargePoint is up 118%. Cakes and Auto Holdings is up 37%. And more. And remember, we are still in the very early stages of this transition. EVs still account for only about 3% of all new cars sold. The upside from here is simply enormous. So that's the first part of TAS. Electric vehicles are going to quickly displace gas-powered cars and trucks. But remember, that's only half the story. The other part is even bigger. While electric vehicles are disrupting the automotive world, EVs alone won't truly disrupt our society or the entire economy. But when you pair EVs with another disruptive technology, self-driving vehicles, controlled by very powerful computers, I believe it will be completely transformative. Sooner than most people think, you'll be able to hail an electric, self-driving vehicle via an app on your phone, just like you hail Lyft and Uber today. And this is TAS, which stands for Transportation as a Service. TAS will essentially mean a fleet of electric, autonomous cars that can go 500 plus miles without charging and over 100,000 miles a year with little maintenance. It's basically how Uber and Lyft operate today, but with electric driverless vehicles. You'll be able to hail different types of vehicles for whatever you need. A small car for a quick trip, a luxury vehicle for a long ride, a truck if necessary. There will soon be fleets of electric driverless vehicles on our streets, ready to be hailed from your phone at a moment's notice. Estimates are that TAS will reduce the total cost of transportation by 10 times compared to owning your own vehicle. TAS could soon drive down our costs of transportation to just 10 cents or even less per mile. Today, by the way, it costs about 80 cents per mile in our gas-powered cars, according to the American Automobile Association. Think about that. I could soon walk out of my Manhattan home and comfortably ride to the nation's capital in a TAS vehicle for less than $25, or even less if I'm willing to share the car. Today, with a private car or Amtrak, it costs me five times as much, and I still have to find a way to get to and from the train station on both ends. And instead of paying $50,000 for a new car, plus $3,000 a year to fill up your tank, and $1,000 to $4,000 a year for insurance, I predict you'll instead spend something like $150 a month for unlimited rides with a TAS subscription. This will disrupt the entire economy. As Tony Seber reports, I have looked back at disruptions going all the way back to Gutenberg. Every time there's a 10x improvement in cost for the same product or service, there's been a major disruption every single time. I know of no case where 10x improvement did not lead to disruption. Now look, just because technology breakthroughs have evolved this way in the past does not mean there are any guarantees today. But before you dismiss TAS as a crazy idea, Keep in mind that the first TAS services are already in place and operating today. Right now, Google's driverless car division called Waymo has 300 self-driving cars all over Phoenix. There's no driver at all. It's a completely automated ride in an electric vehicle. You just use Waymo or Lyft apps or Google Maps to hail a driverless ride. Thousands of people are using this service every day, 
and they've completed more than 100,000 driverless rides and have covered more than 20 million miles. ARK Invest predicts that once Waymo has expanded its Phoenix fleet to 80,000 vehicles, it could address half of the city's travel needs. After getting city permission in the fall of 2020, GM's driverless vehicle company, Cruise, has deployed its driverless cars on the streets of San Francisco, which is a lot more difficult than Phoenix. Again, no backup drivers, no remote control. Lyft, the rideshare company and app, has partnered with a company called Motional, which already has permission for completely autonomous cars to operate in Nevada. Through this partnership, the companies plan to deploy driverless taxis across the U.S. in multiple cities in 2023. A company called Neuro is making deliveries from CVS, Domino's Pizza, and grocery stores. Again, no passenger and no driver required. And these examples I've mentioned are just the tiny tip of the iceberg. All over America, from Rochester to San Francisco, Seattle to Virginia, driverless cars are operating in one form or another without much coverage by the press. And this is why I predict that by the end of 2022, we'll have self-driving cars in more than a dozen cities around the US. Keep in mind too, that regardless of the exact timing, the point I wanna make is that this is the future and the future is here right now. TAS is rolling out all over the country and it's happening faster than you can imagine. And remember, this is all going to have incredible life-changing impacts on the world around us. Consider, Did you know that every year in America, around 40,000 people die in car crashes and another 4 million are seriously injured? Worldwide, more than a million people die in car crashes every year and another 50 million are injured. But these figures could plummet by at least 80% and eventually 90% or more with TAS because 95% of accidents are caused by human error. It will be the equivalent to one of the greatest medical breakthroughs in history for both the number of lives it will save and the injuries it will prevent. Yes, there have been accidents with autonomous vehicles, and there will surely be more. But keep in mind, every day in America, more than 100 people die on the roads with humans behind the wheel. And Waymo has driven 20 million autonomous miles on real roads in the real world and has not had a single serious accident. Future generations will look back with horror at how we allowed so many people to die and suffer serious injuries from traffic accidents with humans behind the wheel. Today, some families have to spend as much as 40% of their household budgets on transportation. Industry expert Tony Seba says this will put nearly $6,000 back in the pockets of the average family each year. Think about what that would mean for our country. It could inject more than $1 trillion into the US economy alone every year. And think about what all of this means for individual car ownership. It could soon drop considerably because it will only make sense for those who love cars as a hobby and want to drive on special roads, mostly just for fun. In the not too distant future, I believe the same thing will happen to today's gas powered cars that happened to horses 100 years ago they'll become an expensive luxury and status symbol for wealthy folks who enjoy them in their spare time off the major thoroughfares. You have to realize that today, cars are our biggest economic waste because we use them just 4% of the time. With TAS, there will be a huge reduction in the number of cars on the road. Some say the number of cars we'll need will drop by 80%. Many automakers will go out of business as a result. Over the next few years, you do not want to own many of the traditional indebted car companies. You also do not want to own most publicly traded car dealerships or car lenders like Santander and Consumer USA. Nor do you want to own companies that sell personal car insurance like Progressive or Allstate or focus on repairing or servicing them like AutoZone, Midas, or Precision Tune Auto Care. Sure, these things all caught a tailwind coming out of COVID because of supply chain disruptions, but you want to avoid them over the long term. And that brings me to Without individual car ownership, traditional parking lots as we know them today will be all but eliminated. TAS fleets will retreat to cheap parking in inexpensive locations for recharging or service during low demand times like the middle of the night. So think about this for a second. Imagine a world in which nearly all of the parking lots located on prime land can be converted into new offices, 
housing, businesses, parks and playgrounds, and other useful spaces. It's mind-blowing. Did you know, for example, that approximately one-third of the land in some cities is occupied by parking lots? According to one estimate, all of the parking lots in Los Angeles alone occupy land equal to three cities the size of San Francisco. Closer to home, think about what you could do with the space you currently use for parking cars. Your garage could be converted into a great new living space for starters. But some industries are going to suffer dramatically, of course, as all this unfolds. In the coming years, I believe everything that moves will be electric and autonomous. Not just cars, but also delivery trucks, buses, tractors, wheelchairs, forklifts, farm equipment, and even scooters, bikes, motorcycles, and boats are now testing electric power. In fact, the Boeing back and JetBlue back startup called Zunum Aero is working on planes and helicopters that will use electric power and will debut in the next year or two. An airline called Harbor Air, which operates short flights in British Columbia, is adding a battery-powered plane to its fleet, and the company's CEO says all its planes will eventually be electric. A construction equipment company called Komatsu recently announced a small electric excavator. Stenaline, which operates ferries between Sweden and Denmark, is rolling out battery-powered boats. This is going to have a big impact on the oil industry. Oil prices have jumped significantly over the past year as economies around the world have bounced back and inflation has pushed everything higher. But long term, I expect much lower prices and demand. And that brings me to perhaps the most important thing you need to think about overall. This disruption is going to have a massive domino effect on so many industries and aspects of our lives. For example, states and municipalities that rely on parking fees, car and gas taxes, and traffic violations for large parts of their budgets might have to completely rethink their revenue sources. Chicago collects more than $250 million per year in parking tickets alone. Los Angeles collects more than $140 million. New York collects more than $500 million. All of the city revenue is going away. Real estate values could shift dramatically too. Soon, there might no longer be a big discrepancy between neighborhoods that have good access to public transportation and those that don't. Houses in high-density neighborhoods that come with private parking might no longer sell for a premium. Travel for the young and the elderly will be much easier, safer, and more affordable than ever. Most Americans soon won't need car insurance at all. The used car market will plummet too. I know, used car prices have soared over the past year because of supply chain disruptions, but this is just a blip on the radar. If you are thinking about selling your used car, don't wait too long. The time to do so is now. In a few years, you might have to pay someone to take your old gas-powered car off your hands. The major changes for our society are just mind-boggling. And again, they are already starting. Don't think for a minute that this is too far in the future to think about. It's starting to happen right now. The domino effects from this trend are enormous. Just like the smartphone inspired dozens of new apps, uses, and jobs, task driverless systems will do the same. IKEA, for example, is working on an autonomous electric-powered office on wheels so you can work or meet while heading down the road. Driverless delivery vehicles will further decimate traditional retail stores. It's already happening in many places all over the country. And so far, the impact of tasks on the job market has been a huge net positive. According to Bloomberg, Driverless cars are proving to be job creators. You see, as these innovative companies roll out tasks all over the country, they are hiring new technicians, programmers, engineers, and other employees like crazy. And like I said, this rollout across America will happen much faster than most people think. People always overestimate how long a revolutionary breakthrough like this will take to reach massive scale. And I think that's the big mistake many are making today too. Let me show you what I mean. Back in 1995, Microsoft founder Bill Gates knew more about personal computers than just about anyone on the planet. But he completely underestimated how fast the internet would spread and disrupt our economy and his business. In his 1995 book, The Road Ahead, Gates said, the internet has enormous potential, but it's important that expectations aren't cranked too high. Gates' own people got nowhere trying to push him into the browser business. 
Gates was lucky to correct his mistake quickly because by 1996, internet adoption hit a tipping point, as you can see from this chart. It's not just the internet, the same thing happens often with a big new disruptive technology. It creeps along slowly for a few years, and then boom, it hits a tipping point when adoption rates go through the roof much faster than what the experts have predicted. Back in 1985, for example, AT&T hired McKinsey, the world's leading consulting firm, to predict the adoption rate of cell phones. McKinsey's experts predicted the cell phone market would total a mere 900,000 customers by the year 2000. But they were off by more than a hundredfold. The actual number turned out to be 109 million. You see this again and again. Every time a truly disruptive innovation enters the marketplace, nearly everyone underestimates how quickly it will catch on and disrupt the status quo. The same thing happened when the iPhone came out in 2007. A Bloomberg analyst wrote, the iPhone's impact will be minimal. Nokia and Motorola have nothing to worry about. And Steve Ballmer, who had succeeded Bill Gates as the CEO of Microsoft said, there's no chance that the iPhone is gonna get any significant market share, no chance. Then the same thing happened with Uber. A 2013 USA Today story by a transportation insider said that apps such as Lyft, Sidecar, and UberX are based on a fantasy world where the market self-corrects and solves everything. It's a dream that will end badly. One of the best-known tech writers wrote in 2012, as of about 10 minutes ago, the Uber app has taken its place in the dustbin of services I'll just have to live without. Uber started in an apartment in 2009 and within just seven years was booking more rides than the entire U.S. taxi industry. And it all happened for one simple reason. The same reason I believe task fleets will soon rule our streets. Economics. Tasks could ultimately be 10 times cheaper than buying and operating your own gas-powered vehicle, and it will completely eliminate the need to hunt around for a parking spot when you reach your destination. The point is, anyone who tells you it'll be a decade or more before we see fleets of autonomous vehicles has likely not studied the history of technological disruptions as I have, and probably does not have my experience in the financial markets. Because if there's one thing you must understand about making money as an investor, it's this. The financial markets are always forward-looking. Investors always want to know and invest their money into what's coming next. That's why money is flooding into this space right now, and it's why you want to buy and hold the best of these businesses for the long term. And what we are seeing right now is a tidal wave of money moving into this space. Amazon ordered 100,000 electric vans from Michigan-based startup Rivian, which will eventually drive themselves. And then Amazon's CEO, Jeff Bezos, spent an estimated $1.2 billion to purchase an entire autonomous vehicle company called Zooks. By the end of 2020, Amazon had unveiled its totally driverless robo-taxi. There's no steering wheel at all. The car can go as fast as 75 miles per hour and 16 hours on a single charge. Today, these cars are being tested in California, Nevada, and Seattle. Google's autonomous car business ordered 62,000 self-driving Pacifica minivans and has already deployed many on the road. Qualcomm is working with Lincoln on the self-driving MKZ, which debuted at the Consumer Electronics Show I attended in Las Vegas. Intel has partnered with BMW, Nissan, Volkswagen, and Ferrari North America on autonomous vehicles. NVIDIA has partnered with Toyota, Audi, Mercedes, Volvo, and many more. Baidu, the Google of China, has partnered with Ford, BMW, Daimler, Chrysler, and dozens more. Apple invested a billion dollars in the ride-hailing service Didi Chusheng. GM invested $500 million in Lyft. Waymo recently raised $3.2 billion, which the company's CEO described as the single largest capital raise for a pre-revenue company in the history of the universe. Why are all of these deals happening and why was Waymo able to raise so much money? Because as the firm ARK Invest has reported, this is a $10 trillion market opportunity. GM announced recently that it sees its autonomous ride-hailing business hitting $50 billion a year as it ramps up over the next few years. A study by Intel, the world's largest maker of computer chips, has even more staggering predictions. They say the market for driverless vehicles, including trucks, buses, and delivery vans, will eventually hit $7 trillion per year. The point is, 
I think there's simply nothing bigger than this in the tech investment world. That's why the money is pouring into this space. And that's why every single day, new breakthroughs, partnerships, and deals are announced. A company called Plus AI, for example, completed America's first coast-to-coast -coast commercial freight run with an autonomous truck. The trip covered 2,800 miles through rain and snow, including 11,000 feet of elevation in the Colorado Rockies, traveling from California to Pennsylvania in less than three days. And as I said, I predict driverless taxi services will be on the streets in more than a dozen cities by the end of 2022. And this is just in America. In many places around the world, autonomous vehicles are advancing even more quickly than here at home. In China, one of the country's leading autonomous driving companies is already serving the public. It's called WeRide, and you can hail a ride in one of their robo-taxis with the app called WeRide Go. The service has been in place for more than a year now, and the company has completed more than 300,000 robo-taxi trips. The Chinese company Baidu has completed even more robo-taxi rides, more than 400,000. Keep in mind, China is not only the world's fastest growing car market and a leader in autonomous vehicles, it's also the number one seller of electric cars. Driverless technology is soaring all over Asia. In Singapore, the local government announced that the entire western part of the city-state is being opened up to autonomous vehicles. It's all moving fast, and the amount of money being invested in this trend is extraordinary. If you want to see one simple stat that sums up how quickly this technology is improving, and how fast it's moving. Check this out. Waymo announced not too long ago that it took 10 years to reach 10 million miles of autonomous cars on public roads. But the next 10 million miles took just a single year. My point is, autonomous vehicles are not the future. They are here right now, quietly rolling out all over America and the rest of the world. Like I said, this is how every big tech trend unfolds. First as a trickle, and then as a tidal wave. Yes, today they exist in only a few cities, in limited geofenced locations, but this is going to expand rapidly. Geofencing, if you're not familiar with the term, allows autonomous vehicle companies to create a virtual boundary, a GPS perimeter, beyond which vehicles can't go. This allows companies to have the confidence their vehicles can safely navigate the area where they are allowed. Over time, the geofenced areas get bigger and bigger, until eventually autonomous vehicles can cover entire cities, then states, and finally, the entire country. This is why the first time you see autonomous cars come to your hometown, they won't be driving everywhere. Instead, they'll be geofenced, limited to certain areas. At first, you might be able to get an autonomous vehicle at your local airport, which can take you to a hundred different drop-off points. Or you might first be able to use an autonomous vehicle in a certain part of downtown. This is how autonomous vehicles are operating right now in many parts of the country, including California, Arizona, Massachusetts, Pennsylvania, Texas, Florida, Seattle, and Washington, D.C., just to name a few. But there's another point you have to understand, too. Even though this trend may take a few years to roll out, if you want to capture the biggest investment gains, you should act now. Already, early investors are getting rich. In fact, an investing frenzy has begun. As I mentioned, over roughly the past two years, the gains of the top performers in this space are simply extraordinary. NEO is up 2,516%. Plug Power is up 996%. Workhorse is up 90%. Electra Mechanica Vehicles is up 84%. Blink Charging is up 1,153%. Arkimoto is up 404%. Seaback Energy Technology is up 312%. Tesla is up 1,585%. ChargePoint is up 118% and Cakes and Auto Holdings is up 37%. And remember, not only are we still very much in the early stages of this trend, this sector is about to see a major boost from federal government stimulus and state and federal government mandates. President Biden's infrastructure bill, for example, allocates $7.5 billion alone for electric vehicle charging stations on highway corridors. Biden also signed an executive order setting a 2030 target of half of all new vehicles sold to be electric. And several U.S. states have already announced that in a little more than a decade, all new cars sold must be electric. In other words, the time to position yourself properly is now, and I strongly suggest you make four investments immediately.
Remember, at the beginning of this presentation, I told you I'd give you the name and ticker symbol of a fantastic task company you should buy right away. That company is Waymo, which is, by most accounts, the leader in autonomous vehicles. Waymo is owned by Alphabet, which is also the parent company of Google. Waymo has driven more autonomous miles than anyone else in the real world. As I mentioned earlier, Waymo has already launched an autonomous vehicle ride-hailing service in Arizona called Waymo One. And to expand its services, Waymo has purchased up to 62,000 self-driving Chrysler minivans. They are also working with Jaguar to build up to 20,000 self-driving SUVs. And in the fall of 2020, Waymo partnered with Daimler Trucks, the market leader in large commercial vehicles, to make fully autonomous trucks. Based on my analysis, I think Waymo will eventually be spun out of Alphabet and become its own company. What makes this such a great investment is that you can buy Alphabet today, which is an incredible, dominant, cash-gushing business, and pay essentially nothing for Waymo. In short, I would strongly recommend Alphabet even if they didn't own Waymo, but it's an even better buy with Waymo as part of their overall business. If shares are spun out over the next few years, you could profit in an enormous way. But even if Waymo is never spun out, this is still a great investment. Of course, as with any investment, buying Alphabet carries risk. You should never invest any money you can't afford to lose. But I think it's a great business to hold for the long term. So that's the first investment you should make. Buy shares of Alphabet, which owns over 90% of Waymo. The stock symbol is G-O-O-G-L, and I recommend that you do not pay more than $3,000 per share. But here's the thing, Alphabet is one of the world's largest companies, so big gains here are likely to take at least a few years to play out. The good news, however, is that there are several other ways to potentially make a lot more money more quickly. Of course, with the opportunity for bigger gains, there are also bigger risks. But to me, these investment risks are worth taking because this is a big and important trend. And that brings me to investment number two. The best thing you can do as an investor is to position yourself in front of what is potentially a massive, inevitable, and booming trend, one that could look like this. Although you won't find this reported in many places, sales of electric cars will increase by more than 700% over the next decade. According to Bloomberg, there will be 500 EV models available worldwide by 2022. This is an amazing boom, quietly taking place. EVs are already a superior technology with rapidly declining prices. As a bonus, they are also being mandated by governments around the world. At least 16 countries have announced plans to phase out gas-powered vehicles over the next few decades, including China, France, and Canada. Britain, for example, has just pledged to eventually ban sales of all cars except electric vehicles. Think about that. No new gasoline, diesel, or hybrid cars will be allowed to be sold, period. And this trend is going to play out much faster than most people expect. Norway will be first. Hybrid and electric vehicles now account for almost 90% of new car sales. And all new sales of gas-powered cars will be banned by 2025. I believe electric vehicles will soon account for more than half of the North American and European car markets, likely in as little as five years. And not long afterward, electric vehicles will likely account for the vast majority of new car sales in America. California, New Jersey, and Massachusetts have already passed laws banning gas-powered cars in the near future. The important point I want to make here is that this is one of those very rare situations in the investment world where we can clearly see the future right now. Of course, nothing in this world is guaranteed, and investing your money always involves serious risks. But I think this shift is inevitable, and because the markets are forward-looking, we are starting to see an investment frenzy in this space already. Tesla stock soared 743% in 2020. Electric car maker Nikola recently shot up 100% in a single day. Electric delivery van manufacturer Workhorse soared 551% in one year. Elon Musk has pulled ahead of Jeff Bezos for the title of world's richest man because investors are pouring money into his electric car company. Electric car maker Neo soared 1112% in one year. Blink Charging, a leading provider of EV charging stations, soared 2,198% during the same period. Seaback Energy Technology, which produces batteries for electric cars and buses, soared 340% during that time. Again, that's not to say that investing in this space is not risky. Every investment carries risk, and this is no exception. 
Also, one thing you have to realize is that the key to potentially making a fortune in this space in the coming years is not to try to guess which company will win. Remember, in addition to Tesla, GM, Ford, and other US manufacturers, there are some 400 electric car makers in China. Plus, remember that there will soon be 500 different EV models available worldwide. That's why the absolute best thing you can do is to simply take a stake in the best technology and the critical components every electric car uses. Luckily for you and me, there's a good way to do that with one straightforward investment. It lets you own the best electric car technology and the components every electric car needs. It's the perfect way to invest in the booming future for electric cars. This investment is up more than 100% over the past year, and I expect it could soar in value in the years to come. In my new report called The Number One Way to Profit on the Electric Vehicle Boom, I'll give you all the details, including the name of this investment, the ticker symbol, and my instructions on how to get in at the best possible price. I'll tell you exactly what price to pay. Just remember, all investments carry risk, and this is no exception. But look, I can't give out all the specifics of this investment opportunity here in this presentation. I'll tell you where to get the specific details in just a second. First, let me also tell you about investment number three. Driverless vehicles are becoming a reality today because of a dramatic confluence of many technologies. Computing power, cameras, sensors, laser rangefinders called LiDAR, GPS, and artificial intelligence software, just to name a few. But my team and I believe there are two companies responsible for, by far, the most critical components for the best self-driving cars. The first company makes the most technologically advanced brain and nervous system for autonomous vehicles. This firm has already partnered with many of the leading companies in this space, including BMW, Hyundai, Audi, Intel, and Lyft, just to name a few. This technology helped complete the longest automated drive ever from San Francisco to New York City and was selected by one national government to be the technology behind the country's autonomous taxis set to hit the road in 2022. This stock is a strong buy in my opinion today, and I recommend you to take a stake. There are no guarantees, of course, and you should never risk investing any money you aren't willing to lose, but I think you could do very well with this investment over the next few years. The other key technology you want to own in the driverless technology space is the company that provides the computing power for many of today's driverless vehicles. This is critical for every autonomous vehicle. Already, this company has partnered with many of the world's leading vehicle manufacturers like Toyota, Volkswagen, Mercedes, and Volvo, plus trucking companies like Peterbilt and Kenworth, auto parts makers like Bosch and Continental, tech firms like Sony and Panasonic, and research institutions like Berkeley, Carnegie Mellon, MIT, and Stanford. Again, you want to own this company starting immediately because you could make many times your money in the next few years. By simply owning these two companies, I think you have the potential to make a lot of money as autonomous vehicles are rolled out all over the world. Remember, the best thing you can do as an investor is to position yourself in front of a massive inevitable trend. And while there are always risks with any investment, that's exactly what I believe we are doing right here. This approach, for example, is how I made a fortune with the best picks of my career, such as Netflix. It's how I made a killing with Amazon. It's how I made a small fortune with JetBlue Airways, Berkshire Hathaway, and more. In my new report called The Two Critical Driverless Technologies You Must Own Today, I'll explain everything you need to know. There's no doubt in my mind these investment recommendations could become among the most profitable of my career. But as I've said, all investing carries substantial risks, and these recommendations are no different. And again, I can't just give away this research right here in this video. Here's why. For nearly 20 years, I worked as a hedge fund manager in Manhattan. My clients were some of the wealthiest people in the world. A handful were billionaires who had access to the best Wall Street hedge funds. But rather than continuing on this course, I've decided to do something radically different. I've launched a project that can benefit people from all walks of life. Teachers, doctors, lawyers, small business owners, retirees, you name it. My new business, Empire Financial Research, is based in New York City. Since we started a few years ago, I've recruited some of the best investors in the world, and to my knowledge, we've been the fastest growing independent research firm in America during this time. And the best part is, we're just getting started. 
You can still join us today before we become the dominant research firm in the country. I'm sure we will introduce you to opportunities you will not hear about anywhere else. We're an independent publisher of financial research, which means we don't own or trade the stocks we recommend, and we don't accept advertising. The only way we can stay in business is by giving you great ideas and advice so you can have the chance to achieve profitable investing results. To me, this just feels like a much better model compared to charging exorbitant fees to a handful of already wealthy people. And part of the reason I made this switch is because today I want to share my best ideas with like-minded folks from all walks of life. This has always been important to me. I didn't come from money, and I'm still one of the most frugal people you'll ever meet. For example, I'm sure I was the only guy at my Harvard Business School class to stay in a youth hostel during our 25th reunion a few years back. I was also one of the founders of Teach for America, have served on the boards of more than a dozen nonprofits, taught introductory economics to high school and college students, and won the John Whitehead Social Enterprise Award from the Harvard Business School Club of New York. The point is, as part of my new venture, you can access my best ideas at a fraction of what wealthy, sophisticated investors used to have to pay me as a hedge fund manager. You don't have to pay me the 2% of assets and 20% of profits fees that hedge funds typically charge. You don't have to pay the $5,000 I used to charge for a single investing seminar. Today, access to my best money-making ideas comes at a pittance. It's the best bargain on or off Wall Street. But before I give you the pricing details and show you how to get started, let me tell you about one final TAS investment I think you should make immediately to take advantage of the massive opportunity before us today. There's one more TAS investment my team uncovered recently, which we strongly recommend you make right away. It's a small company you've almost certainly never heard of. You'll have to take an extra step or two to buy it, but we think it will be well worth it. In short, this company's technology is needed in all self-driving and autonomous cars. And right now, this small company's materials are used in 20% of the entire global market. If we're right about our projections, this company's revenue could quadruple over the next five years. And if that plays out as we expect, you could see an extraordinary return on your investment. In recent months, the stock is up as high as 50%, but we think it has much higher to go. And like I said, I would bet just about anything you've never heard of it. I'd never heard of it either until my team brought it to my attention. What's great is this is a well-established, already profitable company, which happens to be in what my team of analysts believe is the exact right place at the exact right time as its technological expertise is critical for electric and self-driving cars. I love this investment because there's a good chance one of two things will happen over the next few years. The share price will continue to soar much higher, or the company will get bought out at a significant premium. Either way, you win. Of course, there are no guarantees that either of these scenarios takes place, and this speculation may not be for everyone. You could do just fine by putting your money in the other investments I've already told you about so far but we think this speculation is one worth taking. That's why we just put everything you need to know in a new special report called The Task Speculation, How to Potentially Quadruple Your Money in the Next Few Years. Here's how to get a copy in your hands immediately in the next few minutes. Okay, so I've told you about three special reports so far, which I wanna send you right away. First, the number one way to profit on the electric vehicle boom. Second, the two critical driverless technologies you must own today. And finally, the task speculation, how to potentially quadruple your money in the next few years. These reports are the first things I want to send you when you start a no-risk trial subscription to my new comprehensive investment research advisory service called the Empire Stock Investor. On the first Friday of every month, I'll send you my latest report and newest money-making recommendations. My team and I will also show you exactly how to allocate a portfolio across our recommendations to maximize your potential gains, as I did when I was managing my hedge fund for nearly two decades. Of course, you will have to make these investments yourself and decide how much to put in each one, but you will never find yourself wondering what you should do with new stocks I recommend. Plus, every day the markets are open, I'll send you my daily email addressing the most important issues affecting you and your money. You may have read other investing emails before, 
but I think you'll discover that you've never had access to anything like my daily report. At least five billionaires currently subscribe. One of them is Joel Greenblatt, who manages $9 billion at Gotham Capital, who recently said, I met Whitney in my class in Columbia Business School. We've become good friends. He's an excellent investor and more importantly, a great teacher. I'm gonna enjoy being a subscriber to his new research service. Another person on my email list is John Petrie, who manages about a billion dollars. He said, Whitney is one of the most connected investors I've met. He's been able to tap into an infinitely deep and unique network of people to come up with great insights into ideas and develop them that other people just can't do because they don't have the kind of network he does. I truly believe my daily email is the best place to find and exchange investing ideas in the world today. There's simply nothing else like it. And when you start a subscription to my Empire Stock Investor, I'll immediately add you to my Empire Financial Daily and Whitney Tilson's daily email list. To sum up, by taking advantage of this offer today, you will receive the number one way to profit on the electric vehicle boom, the two critical driverless technologies you must own today, the task speculation, how to potentially quadruple your money in the next few years, the next 12 months of Empire Stock Investor. I'll send you a new report on a new investment idea and any changes to our model portfolio on the first Friday of every month, 12 issues in all and my Empire Financial Daily and Whitney Tilson's daily emails. Each day the markets are open. Soon you'll be part of a small collection of like-minded folks, which includes some of the wealthiest investors in America. Plus full access to all of my archived research reports and recommendations, including a very valuable report called The Industries Most Affected by the Driverless Car Revolution, and one called America's Number One Retirement Stock. So, how much does this all cost? Well, that might be the best part. Frankly, I believe I could easily sell the package I put together today for thousands or even tens of thousands of dollars to wealthy investors. But I'm on a different type of mission today. I know there are a lot of people out there, normal people like my mom and dad who met and married in the Peace Corps in 1962 and are both teachers who don't know what to do with their money right now. Should they sell all their stocks, buy more? And what should they buy? Well, the first thing I recommend are the investments I'm gonna send you in the reports I've described. Remember the Silicon Valley saying, it goes slow until it goes fast. It's been slow going for years in the EV and autonomous vehicle space, but in just the past year or so, it started to go really fast. And remember, this is a simply enormous long-term trend. The autonomous vehicle market is projected to eventually generate $7 trillion per year, according to a study by Intel. Along the way, it's going to change our society in ways most people can't even imagine, and many, many people are going to get rich. The time to get in is now. Like I said, we have seen a frenzy in some of these companies. I've shown you a list of the top performing companies in this space that have soared 1,585%, 996%, 1,153%, and even 2,516% in just the past two years. Folks are finally just starting to catch on to this incredible trend. Don't miss out. There are other smart steps you should take with your money today as well. For example, since launching this research service roughly two years ago, we've already seen returns, including open positions, of as high as 178%, 117%, 143%, and 110%, just to name a few of our recommendations gains. Just remember that all investing carries serious risks and you should never invest any funds you can't afford to lose, even if you're following our recommendations, which have a stellar track record. Remember, our average annualized returns of 54.8% last year nearly doubled the annualized returns of the S&P 500 index over the same period. And today, you can get full access to my in-depth research on the huge boom taking place with electric cars, autonomous vehicles, and TAS plus my monthly newsletter, Empire Stock Investor, where I offer investment ideas and update you on any adjustments I make to the model portfolio, and my daily letter, where I share investment ideas from my giant network of contacts in the investing community. For as little as just $49, the regular retail rate for my work is $199 per year, and some of my readers pay as much as $5,000 per year for our other research, but you can take advantage of our first year trial rate and save 75% by taking advantage of this offer. I promise you, 
This is by far the best deal in the investment world today. For about the price of an inexpensive dinner for two, you can get access to my team's best investing ideas, which were previously available only to my hedge fund clients. Even better, this trial subscription is 100% risk-free. After reviewing everything I'll send you, if you decide for any reason that my research isn't right for you in the next 30 days, no problem. Simply give our member services team a call and they'll promptly refund 100% of your money. In other words, all we're asking is to try our research for yourself and see if it's right for you. I look forward to having you on board my new venture. You may have subscribed to an investment newsletter before, but I believe I'm going to be sharing ideas with you that are unlike anything you've seen before. To get started and immediately gain access to everything I've described here, simply click the Order Now button below. This will take you to a secure order form where you can review everything here before submitting your order. You'll have access to all of my reports, research, and my fully allocated model portfolio in a matter of minutes. Thanks for watching. I hope you'll give our work a no-risk trial look to see if it's right for you.